<coughs> now see in this video the physical examples of pressure okay see in case of iron nail when we try to pierce an iron nail into a wall or any object we use this sharp side to pierce it into the wall or that object okay so why we use this sharp side instead of this flat or blunt side because we know pressure equivalent to pressure is proportional to force and pressure is inversely proportional to the area of contact that means the less the area of contact will be the more will be the pressure okay so here the area of contact is very less okay so for the same amount of force the pressure for this sharp side will be more than the pressure of this blunt side okay so if we use this flat side to pierce into a an into a wall okay then less pressure will be exerted because this area is more than this sharp side okay so the less the area of contact will be the more pressure will be exerted that's why we use this sharp side instead of this blunt side when we want to pierce a nail into a wall or any object okay in the same way you can see in case of trees the stem of the tree in base area the stem becomes uh, larger than the upper side you know wider the base of a tree is wider than its top because as the base is wider the area of contact with the ground the area of contact of the tree with the ground is more and that's why it will exert less pressure because the more area of contact the less pressure will be exerted okay so that's why in case of trees or in case of any house you you will see that the base area will be wider or more flat than the area on the top because the weight or the force will exert less pressure in case of flat area than the sharp area okay now so in case of iron nail we we need to uh, give more pressure that's why you use the sharp side and in case of trees or house we need less pressure big so that the house or tree will not sink into the ground okay that's why their base is wider than their top okay i hope you understood now see what is thrust the force acting perpendicular to the surface of the body is known as thrust thrust okay the force acting perpendicular to the surface of the body is known as thrust now see in this object three type of force is acting okay there are three types of force are acting on that object okay a b and c so only the b force acting perpendicular to the surface of that object so you can say that the b force is only the thrust among the three force among the three forces okay so in case of weight see here here is a table and an object is is resting on the table okay and its weight is acting uh, directly vertically downward direction okay so as this weight acting perpendicular to the surface of the body that's why you can consider 
weight of an object as thrust okay so thrust thrust is also a kind of force but thrust is that kind of force that will act perpendicular to the surface of a body okay so as among these three type of force in the above example you can see there are three types of force a b and c and among these three types of force only b is perpendicular to the surface of the object that's why you can consider only the b force as the thrust of the thrust and in case of the uh, example given uh, below weight of an object always acts uh, in vertically downward direction that's why you can consider weight of an object as also thrust okay and thrust is also a kind of force that's why the unit of thrust and unit of force is the same okay both in si is newton that means the unit of thrust and unit of force are same and the unit of thrust or force in si is newton okay